Okay, on this episode of Taking Off, we're going to be doing a flight review with my friend Mark from Las Vegas. Hello. Mark actually had a flight review uh, about eight months ago, and uh, he's just going to reset the clock. We've already done uh, well over an hour of uh, ground. We've uh, done a complete thorough pre-flight and all that kind of stuff. We're going to do a lot of editing on this uh, flight review, otherwise it would be a very long video, so um, you're not going to see everything, uh, but just to let you guys know. You're flying, I'm the pilot command, you're pilot flying. Should we have any kind of emergency, I'm going to immediately take the controls, and we'll do our three-step verification. I have the flight controls, you respond. You have the flight controls? My flight controls. And also you can visually look to make sure. Um, one of the, my DPs that I flew with came from the military helicopters, and there'd be a person behind you you couldn't see, so you'd always, you know, show hands free. So um, a visual verification that you do indeed have the flight controls is always a good idea. So we will do that. We'll also, um, critical phases of flight, we're going to uh, have the sterile cockpit rule. So we're not going to be talking about uh, work or anything like that while we're here. And, and critical starts now and until we're at cruise. Okay. So, we ready to taxi? We are ready to taxi. What does the book say a good taxi speed would be? No faster than a walk, a quick, quick walk. walk. Yeah. Good. You know, you remember your stuff. All right, let's follow this taxi line to the right. And as soon as you get right up here, I could, would stop. This gives you, you're out of the way, I'd stop about right here. Altitudes. Okay, what altitude do you want to fly at? Uh, six five. Well, we're not, yeah, so technically if we we're doing that cross country, I go ahead and set my altitude by pushing in this big button to get the magenta up there to the altitude, and I set my altitude. Now, it's not gonna fly to that, it's just a, a memory aid for me. Okay. Didn't know what I want. But for this purposes, let's go to 3,500. Right. set, transponder set. Okay. Heading input, which... So, what I, again, for the, it's always good to just, you know, turn your heading to uh, which direction you're going to fly. So let's go ahead and do a 270. Almost what we're at right now. That way we'll head out west, and that way you know your heading is that way. It'll work. All right. Strobe's on. Okay. All right, fuel selector. Okay, let's switch. go ahead and switch it. Now the 210 is different than the 172 in that uh, there's not a dual. One tank or the other. Light instruments. Yeah, yeah. yeah. They're all in the green, pressure's in the green, we're all good. All right, so look at your before takeoff one last time because we didn't, you missed one. Okay, autopilot check then off, we talked about that. Rudder trim, good. Okay. Elevator trim, set. Flaps set to 10. That's the one. Okay, then we did flight controls. Flight controls for free and Everything else is done on that before takeoff. Okay. Okay, so you are now ready for takeoff. Let's brief the takeoff. We're going to come up here, and uh, what I'd like you to do is use every bit of runway. So go up there and then turn hardcore at the edge. Make sure you don't put the wheel off the pavement. And uh, then line up. Make sure you see 1-4 on the pavement and that your compass lines up one last check. Uh, lights are good. And then you're going to throttle up. And you're going to be looking for 36.5, as we talked about. RPM. RPM. Manifold. No, not RPM. Oh, the, manifold. Oh, 36.5. Yes. Yeah, 36.5. Well, how, how are you going to call it? So, Hicks Traffic, Centurion 646-20 Yankee, taking the action 14 for takeoff. Yeah, now, just, you know, I'm not a very precise person. And I have to really struggle to be precise because we need to be precise. And a lot of pilots, you know, there's big arguments everywhere about this or that. But I do want to be precise. And, and by the way, having a YouTube show, um, I get slapped for a lot of things. But you know what? It makes me a better pilot. So we, um, and also, I don't use the word taking. So it's simply Centurion 4620 Yankee 1 4 for West Departure. Hicks. And then Hicks again. All right. So whenever you're ready, I show final. Is still clear. Traffic 8509 Bravo overhead, left traffic 14 Hicks. Okay, so he's overhead. All right, I've got him here. Okay, whenever you're ready. Hicks traffic Centurion 4620 Yankee.
taking 1-4 west departure, Hicks. Perfect, let's go. Approach path is still clear. Alright, nice. Okay, we've got 1-4 on the runway. Up is good, you ready? Don't forget that left rudder. She's got some power. Good. Lock your throttle right here. Don't go anymore. How's your airspeed? Alive. Airspeed's alive. There's 70. Okay. Back pressure. All right. Okay, positive rate. Okay, gear up. Gear up. Gear in motion. Okay, there's 90. Okay. Flaps. Okay. And she feels trimmed. Okay, good. Okay, I would come back on the manifold a little bit. A little bit. So that's uh, that's prop? No, no prop. I mean, throttle. Throttle. Okay. I'd go ahead and begin your right turn, or you're going to be busting uh, Meacham. Not a sharp one. I would do a... And you're going to come around all the way to 270. And let them know you're doing a uh, turn out to the west. Hicks traffic, Centurion 4620, Yankee, turning west, Hicks. That was a good takeoff. Really good. Okay, 3225. Okay, now you want to, uh, your mixture is good where it's at. So, uh, 3225, uh, all right, good. And uh, let's go ahead and, uh, you know, climb to 3500. Actually, let's amend and go to 45 since we're going uh, west. Altitude pre-select 4500. Very good. How'd it feel? Good, I'm uh, just still adjusting trim up, getting. Okay. Your flaps, everything's looking good. If you want to look at your uh, climb, you very well can. Nice 800 feet a minute climb, right? So this is good straight and level flight. All right, we're at 4,500, which is well over 3,000 feet above ground level. Can you walk me through what you remember about slow flight? So slow flight, I need to slow the airplane into the white arc. Okay. Add flaps. Okay. Try to slow the airplane down while maintaining heading and altitude. Correct. Okay, but there's one, because you've stepped into a 210, and, and one note for those keeping score at home, Mark is a commercial multi-engine pilot, so it's okay to put him in a 210 to, uh, to knock the rust off. So you've also got gear. So in slow flight, we'll go ahead and use the gear. Now, your gear extent speed, just so you know, is a really fast 165 knots. It's hard. You know, you know, some of the earlier 210s, it's a lot lower. But this one, you don't have to worry too much. So you're well under that. So just like you're landing, what I'd like to do is um, do one, well, do your, your gear. Then do one notch of flaps. All right, very good. So having walked through it, why don't you go ahead and show me slow flight. Okay, so gear and one notch. Yep, looking around, no traffic. At simultaneously, or you want a green light? Yeah, I want a green light, and then I want you to visually confirm you have gear. I have gear on this side. You see the mirror? The mirror, I see gear. Okay, and don't I forget to green. hold heading and altitude. Okay, now what's going to happen when you drop your first degree flaps? Uh, uh, I'm going to need to pitch over. All right, let's go ahead. Flaps are coming in. Don't forget that, you know, trim it is necessary. All right. So there's my RPM. Okay, good. Now reducing throttle. Holding altitude and head. Back okay. on heading here. Good. The airspeed to bleed off. Hey, heading ten, trim. Uh, two, five, ten, ten. Off on the Great demonstration for behind the curve, behind the power curve. Okay, good. Now let's talk through the power off stall. 
So you're going to slow down, pitch back until you get the warning. At that point, first indication of stall, I'll let you recover. And uh, so when you recover, what I like to see is is when you know you've got uh, positive rate climb, one degree of flap, or you know one setting of flap, ten degrees, and then gear up. And I'm talking about the cleanup. So cleanup is flap, gear, flap, flap. But always make sure this is the critical part because we've been in an emergency go around before, and we cleaned up too fast, and and that that can be really bad. So make sure you're keeping a positive uh, rate, of, you know, positive rate of climb on your vertical speed indicator. All right, so go ahead and uh, show me a power off stall and recovery. Okay, power off. Holding back pressure. Your first indication. There you go. Recover. Do you want full power, or do you want? Yep. Back? You're in a stall. Would... So flaps. Hey, how's your rate of climb? Uh, not, not good. Got my airspeed back. I never pulled back on the. All right, there you go. Now, positive rate of climb, gear up. Okay, watch that. You're you're about to do your secondary stall here. <laughs> but yeah, your nose oh, went to no, the. So, yeah, when you gotcha. power up, it's going to want to right. push up. Okay, gotcha. And now, second notch flaps. Okay, good. It's not bad. I mean, you, you powered in immediately and you pitched, you nosed over. The only thing is, you know, just be aware that as you power up, it's going to want to throw you into the sky. That's where the secondary stall comes from. As you said, it, I nosed over. Yeah, you it. felt it, yeah. All right, so what I want to do now is let's, uh, let's do some uh, uh, steep turns. Um, we can do them to private standard, or if you feel like you want to do them to commercial standards, you can. Um, but what I want to do is um, be aware we've got uh, the man-eating tower is way off over there. Um, how keep high, it, keep how it, high is the man-eating tower? It's uh, 2,500 feet. Oh. So you could be doing maneuvers and like, oh, crap, I, that's happened to me. Um, there's an airport over here that we're going to do some touch-and-goes at in a minute. So let's stay in this neighborhood. Okay. But let's keep, keep a lookout. So when you are going to do a maneuver, what's the first thing you've got to do? It's the thing I forget the most. Look outside, clear it. Yeah, clearing turns. So give me a couple clearing turns. Okay. How's it looking right? Clear right. I like to do a full 90 at least, though, if you're doing it. Uh, a pre this is this is the playground for schools. Yeah. So you never know if somebody's out here. Okay. Okay, there's our 90. Okay. I'm sightseeing two here. Oh, okay. <laughs> Thought you saw a plane. No, just looking at it down. All right, you can clear left. Come around, do the uh, 90 to the other. All right, porpoising through the sky. It's a new plane to you. No. There's 90 to the left. All right, cool. All right, let's uh, set a you know a landmark um, off the nose that you could do uh, steep turns. You give me uh, 360 in one way, 360 in the other. You want to do commercial or private standards? Yeah. <laughs> okay. So still looking at 4,500. Okay. So. Let's just come back to a heading then. The thing is, I like to do it outside because it keeps your visual out. So like even the sun, you know, you know that heading into the sun is where you where you're at 360. That way you're you're always looking out. Okay, hey, right turn. Okay, right turn, clear right. So you want me at 45? Or we're That's 30 right now, so you want to be more. There you go. Once you feel good about where it's at, that's your sight picture for where the horizon cuts through the 
Alling. And, and let's go right into a left. Left turn. Go all the way to that diamond. There you go, right there. Still our own wake. Yep. Okay, hey, this one was perfect. So let's go ahead and start a descent. You're pretty high. I'd slow it way down. Now what do you think that is? Here. Here. Gear warning horn. When you pull back to manifold pressure, it says, hey, you're going awfully slow for not having gear down. So it's okay. You can live with that for now. Or you could drop gear. That'll help us drop out. Yep, yep. exactly. Okay, so what you could do... We're, yeah, we're four and a half miles. I'd come around the right, enter a left downwind. Four, one, eight. Pattern altitude is 1,800. Okay, and you're right at pattern altitude now. Okay, so this, I've got to marry these two. Yeah, you were there. Oh, no, you're not. Now you are. Okay. Bridgeport traffic. Centurion is going to enter the left downwind for 1-8 now. Bridgeport. And the Red Pacers uh, base just turning final for a full stop 1-8 Bridgeport. Okay, let's go ahead and enter the pattern there. Uh, Centurion, you won't be a little wider. It's a little faster than the 172s. Cherokees. Okay, you got the airport in sight? Have the airport in sight. And you're still a couple of hundred feet low. Step back. Okay. So you've got gear down. And that's curved. Gas is on the right tank, so gas undercarriage. Mixture. Mixture. You want to pull in? No, I want it right there. Okay. Prop. Okay. Prop is good. Okay. So your gump check is good. And, uh, and base five whenever you're ready, turn uh, base. There's our altitude back, finally. Yep. Well, you, turn, clear right we should already be descending now. Yeah, I know. So feel free to call. And where are we, Bridge? Bridgeport. Bridgeport, Centurion 4620 Yankee on the base 418. Touch and go. Where do you want the manifold? Wherever it needs to be. All right, you're clear on final. I'd start your turn. Bridgeport, Centurion, 4620, Yankee, turning final. Touch and go, 1-8, Bridgeport. All right, go one more degree flaps. Hey, I'd, you've got the runway made, so I'd pull the fuel, but I'd be ready on throttle. Give it a little bit as, as you hit your flare. Give it some, give it some fuel. Give it some fuel. Fuel, 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 fuel. Okay, there you go. Fuel out. Let's go ahead and uh, taxi back. Yeah. All right, not bad. There's a little bit nose up on the uh, on the flare. All right, we're ready. Go ahead and make your call before you get out there. Bridgeport Centurion four six two zero Yankee. Taking the act, taking runway 18 for departure to the zone. Good enough. Hey. Clear final. Clear final. Clear runway. 70, then 90. Okay. All right, you got it. On the floor. Auto locked. Oop. Cutter. Wanted me to pull back the uh, manifold? Uh, yeah, just a hair. There you go. Yeah, perfect. Okay, looking for 70. There's 70, back pressure. Okay, waiting for positive rate. Okay, there's our positive rate. Gear's on the way. Gear is moving. Okay, looking for 90. Okay. Gear is up and locked. Have be 90, so flaps are coming up. Great job. 
And we're on our way. All right. What we'll do is we'll go ahead and head back towards Hicks. Gainesville traffic, Twin Cessna 989. Which is going to be that way. How are you feeling? Better. Yeah. Uh, that felt much better than first taking off. It's just practice. It's it is. It's repetition. It is. And even if you do this, this BFR or this flight review now, you know, you just need to go rent a plane and, and you know, now, you know, you're, cur you're, you're current for going solo and going and renting a plane in Vegas, but you just need to fly. Right. That's all, that's all you need. You just need to fly, get the rust off. Well, and I think that's, that was my goal today. Yeah. Well, you're flying. Hicks traffic says the 3 4 Romeo, obstruction downwind, 3 4 uh, 1 4, full stop, Hicks. All right, whenever you want. Hicks traffic, Centurion is turning left cross. Enter the downwind for 1 4, Hicks. Left downwind. Hicks traffic, 7 1 4, Fox Whiskey. What's our pattern here? Over uh, 18. 1 4 to enter left downwind, Hicks. Extract 7-3-4 Romeo's turning. You see him? Four full stop X. Yes. Yeah. And you can begin your turn to the downwind. 7 Charlie Whiskey, clear 1-4 Hicks. Hicks traffic, Centurion, left downwind 1-4 Hicks. Hicks traffic, 3-4 Romeo turning, 5-1-4 full stop. Got him. All right, so let's aim for that t that water tower. Okay. Hicks traffic, Centurion, final, 1-4, Hicks. Okay, airspeed look good. Let's do 80 over the threshold. 70 on touchdown. That's a little faster than normal, but I'd rather be faster. All right. Okay, you've got the runway, so go ahead and pull full power out. There you go. Whoop, don't pop up too much. That's all right, let the horn go, good. Go straight, nice. Look at that, touchdown right at, we'll go ahead and roll out to the end, we don't need to burn the brakes out. That was a really good landing. Oh, better. Okay, well you guys, thanks for watching this uh, video with Mark. Mark's from Vegas, he uh, works in the TV industry with me and uh, has hosted me out in Vegas and helped a lot. So, Mark, thanks for coming. I'm glad you could fly Lola. Thanks for having me. And uh, get some rust off, and uh, I hope you uh, hit the skies a lot in the near future. Thanks, and uh, I'm sure it'll blow me up in the comments. <laughs> you'll, you'll do fine. Everything. No, they'll hit me up. They'll everything hit me. I did wrong today. No, 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 they'll hit me. <laughs> anyway, see ya.